Let's learn how to access Raspberry Pi 4 desktop from Windows computer. We will be using remote desktop connection to access Raspberry Pi 4 from our computer using RDP means a remote desktop protocol and XRDP packages on Raspberry Pi 4. Let me click on new terminal console so that we will have the Raspberry Pi terminal. And the first thing we have to do is to make sure our Raspberry Pi has all the updated software installed. So we have to run a couple of commands before we install anything further. So sudo apt hyphen get update and hit enter this will make sure we have all the updated software downloaded and then we have to run another command it's a sudo apt hyphen get upgrade this will install all the updated software on our raspberry pi now once the update and upgrade is done then we have to install a package called xrdp and if you wonder what is XRDP is because we will be using an RDP protocol. It's a remote desktop protocol. And this RDP protocol is used between uh, a remote desktop client. So to install the XRDP, we have to run sudo apt hyphen get install XRDP and hit enter. And as you can see, the XRDP server is already running because we have installed the XRDP package on our Raspberry Pi. Now the next step for us is to stop the auto login. We have to run a command sudo raspi-config and hit enter. And now as you can see, we have the dialog box pops up and we have to use up and down arrow key to select uh, the system option. So by default, we have a system option selected, just hit enter. And then we have to press the down arrow key and we have to select boot or auto login, select something, something. Okay, just hit enter. And then we have to select the third option from the top. So just press the down arrow key till we select B3 desktop, which is a desktop GUI require user to log in because we don't want to log in by default as a Pi user. We have to log in as a remote desktop. So it will ask us to insert the password. So that is what the setting is all about. So. I have to hit enter that will select the desktop and GUI and then it will take us back to the dialog box again we have to press the tab button it select the select option and then hit the tab again once again and now it select the finish and then hit enter and it will finish and then this pops up tell us would you like to reboot and then we have to say yes so we will hit enter and this will reboot our Raspberry Pi in order to apply the changes that we have made so far. So let me close this Raspberry Pi terminal and I will going to wait till this Bitwise SSH client reconnect by itself when the Raspberry Pi reboot. So this will take a couple of minutes. We have to wait and see what happens. So as you can see, it says connecting to SSH and now it is giving us this dialog box where we have to click on accept for this connection and you can see now we get the new terminal console back again so we will going to click on new terminal console to get the raspberry pi terminal here now we have to remove user pi from two groups it's a video and the render group and if you wonder why we are doing this because the primary user that means pi is our primary user is a member of two user groups that are excluded from connecting via rdp so the protocol that we are using rdp protocol it is excluded to use it to allow primary user means pi to connect to the rdp we need to remove an account from these two groups means video and render groups right so we will going to run two commands which will remove our user pi from this video and render group so let's run the command sudo g pass wd this is the command sudo g pass wd space minus d to delete and then the user that we want to delete pi pi and then we have to say video and hit enter this will remove the pi user from the video group and then we have to run another command that's a sudo g pass wd space minus t to delete and pi and then render okay just hit enter and this will remove our user pi from the video group and then from the render group okay this is all what we have to do now we will run command sudo reboot because once we reboot then the changes will be applied so let me run reboot command and it says disconnected so let me close this terminal and let me wait this raspberry pi to reconnect again to the computer so again we'll have to wait for a couple of minutes as you can see now it is trying to reconnect 
and we will get a pop-up box you can see here we have the pop-up box we will have to click on accept for this correction and now because we want to test the remote desktop we will going to click on new remote desktop so let me click on that option and then click on connect we have now a desktop version of raspberry pi and as you can see it asks us the authentication because if you remember we have asked our Raspberry Pi to set the user Pi and we need to insert the password in order to log into Raspberry Pi. This is for the security feature that the Raspberry Pi operating system has implemented. So let me type the password R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y Raspberry and hit OK. And then we have to hit OK again. And now as you can see, we have the desktop version of Raspberry Pi. You can see on a top right corner, we have this Wi-Fi icon if we can click our Raspberry Pi is connected to the SciTech and then we have the Bluetooth option here. So in case if you want to play with Bluetooth and then on the top left corner, we have this Raspberry Pi logo. If we click on that, we have this other options like programming, education and other things. The one thing that you might want to play around is in the preferences, you have this Raspberry Pi configuration and the configuration that you can do through Raspberry config command, you can do it from here if you are a fan of the graphical user interface you can click on display interface and you can turn on and off individual option as you like okay so i'm not going to do anything this is what i wanted to show you okay you can even do programming from here but this is what i wanted to show you let me close this things okay let me close and then click on okay now if in case you are not using bitwise ssh client then you can search on windows machine so let's search for a remote desktop connection so this is the built-in feature that we have in our windows uh, computer so let me click on remote desktop connection now we have to insert the raspberry pi's ip address so here's the ip address of raspberry pi you can see this ip address and this ip address matches so let me click on connect and i can minimize this and then it asks us whether you want to connect i would say yes and as you can see now log into raspberry pi and the username is pi and the password I would insert Raspberry R A S P B E R R Y and then hit OK. And now the same Raspberry Pi desktop you can able to access here from the Windows remote desktop connections. If you enjoy this video, then do not forget to check our other Raspberry Pi 4 related videos on our channel. And also check the description section for useful links and resources. And I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thank you very much for your time and we'll see us into the next video lesson. Bye bye for now.